Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Target haul. So this is kind of over the last couple of times I've been. It wasn't one big trip, but I just find myself talking about a lot of these items over on Instagram and I just wanted to share over here as well. So it's kind of like a Target favorite slash haul. Also on my most recent trip in, they had like the spring slash Easter stuff in the dollar spot. So we will talk about that. I found some really cute dresses. I got some stuff for Milo, some home decor stuff. So. Just thought I would share the Target love. Everybody loves a Target haul, right? I do. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Let's start with the clothes I bought for myself, starting with this dress. So this is from Universal Threads. I know you can't see it, but I'll pop in a picture or some B-roll or something. But I love this dress. This is kind of a revamp of a dress they released last year that I bought and I totally love. It's a tiered swing dress. It has pockets, which is essential. Oh, Alexa, be quiet. It's a bit of like a thicker material. Like my brain wants to use the fabric linen to describe it, but I'm sure it's not linen. Um, but it's just a bit more like thick and structured. I love the sleeves, I love the color. Unfortunately, as I'm filming this, it's on sale, but the sale ends today, so it'll be back up to normal price. But it's $25, which for the quality of the dress, compared to the similar one I bought last year and has lasted very well, and I wear it all the time, I feel like it's pretty fair. But I love the sleeves, I love the color, and I think I'm gonna pick up another color today while it's $5 off, because why not? But I love this dress because it's cute enough to like wear out to brunch or like a dinner date, a theater show if you dress it up a little bit, a baby shower, something like that. But it's also just like, the perfect throw on and go dress for like a day at home with my toddler, running errands. Like it's just comfy yet cute. So it makes me feel comfortable yet put together, which is like, I'm trying to build my whole wardrobe of just throw on and go dresses. And I feel like I've done a good job so far. So if you're into that like me, you will love this. And you are definitely gonna see me like live in this in vlogs this summer. <laughs> Something not so casual, but just as cute, if not cuter is this amazing, I keep calling it the cupcake dress. I don't think that's what it's called, but this one is from A New Day. I typically with Target prefer the Universal Thread stuff, of course, everybody does. And then I love their Knox Rose line as well. A lot of my favorite dresses are from that collection. Um, but every now, I mean, I will always look at the Anna New Day stuff, but this one caught my eye. I tried it on and I loved it. And I bought it even though I have nowhere to wear it. So again, I'll put in a picture of what it looks like but it's just this really like poofy dress. The sleeves are super poofy. What I love most about it is the structure of the front. So this is like wire or something. It's very structured, makes your boobs look great. The sleeves don't like fall down my shoulders, which I always have that problem. It's a great length. It is a bit more expensive. This one was $40, but I feel like it's cute enough to justify it. But if you have, if you're having a baby and you're having a girl, this would be so cute. If you're going to a baby shower, somebody's having a girl it would be so cute or a boy, who cares? Maybe like a spring, summer wedding, a fun date night, a photo shoot. Like it's just so cute. So uh, again, I have nowhere in mind to wear this, but it's it's so rare that I just feel so cute and I love something this much, so I had to buy it. And then a bit of a more boring clothes find for me, but a, a win. I am very particular about my pajama shorts. I prefer a very thin band. Everything everywhere is a thick ass band with a drawstring, and it's like, I find that uncomfortable. I just want a very like stretchy, thin band and I found it. So this is from the Stars Above collection, which Bradley got me some of their pajama, not even pajama, like their lounge pants for Christmas and I've been loving them. So we can add those to the faves. I'll put in a picture, but um, they come in like more subtle colors, like gray and black. I got the pink and I am just totally loving them. I was wearing them yesterday all day because it was laundry day, but those are like the perfect lounge around the house pants. And the Stars Above stuff is always really, really comfy and cozy. In this line, I. I'm probably a large, but I size up because I want room, like especially lounge stuff at home. Like I need the space around my stomach. <laughs> so I went for the extra large, if you're curious. It has a little pocket on the back. Um, I tried them on, they're very comfortable, but I haven't like actually like slept in them yet. So I will keep you posted. But if I love them, I'm gonna buy 70 pairs because it's just so hard to find a pair of shorts that I love to sleep in. That is it for clothes for me, but I do have like an accessories find. How? Freaking fun are these earrings. Like, are you kidding me? So these are from Universal Thread as well, the same as the dress. I saw these online and I was just like, I have to have them. So um, while I probably won't wear them often, I'm just so into squiggles right now. So they're squiggle hoops. I think they're the perfect size. Like they're not too big. The one downside is they're a little heavy, just a little bit. But if you wear dangly, hoop earrings all the time, you probably like won't even notice. I'm just a wimp about that kind of stuff. I don't know, I'm like really afraid of having saggy ears. <laughs> I see people on like red carpets and like their ears are just, their earlobes are just 
holding the weight of the world. <laughs> I'm just afraid it's gonna happen to me. And they're seven dollars. Like I think these are so hip and fun and for seven bucks for like a trendy earring that feels well made. Like they're heavy but they feel like solid quality. Um, they're just so cute. So if you're into those like me, I just needed to share. I will save Milo stuff for the end in case you're not into that. So we will roll into home goods. I should have also s stated at the beginning that the only reason I went into Target these two times is for any of the following. Laundry detergent, which they're having a good deal on my laundry detergent right now. I saw on my app, I should go back, which is always dangerous. <laughs> we go into Target most times because we either need laundry soap, dish soap, or wet wipes for Milo. And I acquired all of that over the last couple of trips. <laughs> so just know there's a lot of boring household stuff I don't show, like some groceries, toothpaste, all that. I'm just showing the fun stuff. Oh, but the biggest one for home decor is the wallpaper. So they don't sell it in store. You have to buy it online, but we ordered hella rolls of that. I think it's took five rolls to do our dining room. If you haven't seen that, it's in my latest vlog. I will link it up in the corner. I, the transformation is just, I love it. Every single day I'm just, I just stare at it. I love it so much. And as far as the quality of the Target wallpaper, it was the first time we've ever dealt with a peel and stick wallpaper. So like we don't have anything to compare it to, but we did find it a touch hard to work with, but that might just be all of them. But while it was hard during afterwards, it is so beautiful and worth it. I guess we'll see how it lasts. It's the most affordable option I found for wallpapering. There's some really expensive ones, like really expensive ones. I don't understand how people are affording to do several rooms. We just did one wall, but that's definitely a target fave at the moment. Like I just cannot get enough. So I know the print that I picked isn't for everybody. I got a couple comments. <laughs> okay, thank you. But I love it. I love the loud, busy floral on just the one wall and it's the dining room. So I figure like we can have fun in there. So that's why we decided to try peel and stick wallpaper. I think our next one will be the powder room downstairs. We always planned on doing that because it's just kind of like a dark room with no windows and it would be fun to do something bold on the walls. We're thinking like maybe some beadboard and then up like half of it or something and then wallpaper the rest. It is a tall room, so we'll see. Um, but I will definitely be taking a look at the, what Target has to offer because it was cheap and effective. Also, while I was at Target the other day, I was so delighted to find my favorite plant pot from them. I'll put in a picture, but it's just this really nice, big, wide, white kind of like scalloped pot that I love. I bought one to begin with, we had it in the house, but then I had this, um, I wanted to attract more bees to my vegetable garden. So I had this idea to put, I kind of, it's right outside this window, that's why I'm pointing. But we have um, three raised beds and I wanted to put two pots of flowers kind of just like in between to attract more bees. And I feel like it worked. I mean, I see bees over there all the time, but just to bring more of the bees over to pollinate the flowers of the tomatoes and the zucchini and all that stuff. So I ended up taking that pot from inside the house because it's an indoor or outdoor pot. And so we have two matching ones out there and I love it. I currently have some daffodils that are coming up in them that I'm so excited about, but they had it again. And I always told myself, if I see it again, I'm gonna buy it because I miss it. Ha I miss having it in the house. It's just a really good, like kind of boring, basic pot that has some interest to it. We actually just yesterday potted up a new plant that I got at Trader Joe's. This I'll show it to you. This stunning, I think it's just like a rubber plant is what it was labeled for $12. Trader Joe's, if you are looking and you go on the right day, they have incredible houseplants for such a good deal. Like this would have been like 30 bucks at Lowe's or something. And so I always buy them when they're there, even though I might not have a pot for them at that moment because you can't like wait around. So we planted that up yesterday. We put it upstairs in a new spot and we're loving it. And so that pot is great and only $30. That's the best part, I forgot to say. It's huge, cute, 30 bucks. Like you can't get a better pot for a better price. And now let's go into the dollar spot stuff. They had such cute stuff. I did a reel slash YouTube short slash TikTok on it. If it's up, I'll link it. If not, stay tuned. I don't know, I don't know. I gotta get my life together on my content schedule. There's so much more cute stuff than I bought. I'm, again, I'm really trying to bring in just what I absolutely have to have. <laughs> Look at these rain boots, like how cute are these? I don't really even know what you do with them. Probably just like decor, I have an idea that I'm gonna keep to myself until I properly shoot a reel on it. You can put anything you want in there, but how freaking cute are these? I don't know if they come in more than one color. My store just had the mint, but just literally so cute. These I absolutely love. So these are little egg holders. I love egg holders, I have a problem. But I shouldn't love egg holders because I don't even love like hard boiled eggs. But I do love to put like a decorated Easter egg in them. But my idea for these were, was, and I'm now I'm kind of tempted to go back and buy a ton. How cute would it be if you're hosting Easter for your tablescape, 
have a decorated egg with people's names on it and that's like your little place setting. Like how freaking cute would that be? But also cute for like a shelf sundae. So they have three, they have blue, orange, and they have pink. All the pink at my shop were like heavily chipped. My orange is kind of chipped as well, but it was just like the best of the bunch and I needed it. And at the right angle, you can't even see the chip. But for a dollar for like place name holders, whatever you call those, do you know what I'm talking about? How cute, like literally so cute. Also so cute without anything in it. Like, ah, oh my God, what a steal. And then it's as if the decor lord is listening to me. I can't get it out right now. I'll show it to you in a close up. but it's a little standalone bunny candle. This one is pink. They had blue, white, and pink, maybe another color, I'm not sure. I kind of wanted all of them, but I just like restrained myself. How freaking cute. You guys know I love a candle, a, a holiday decorative candle in the shape of something that I'll never burn. Love it. Absolutely delighted to get it for $3. Like absolutely incredible. And like I said, there's a lot more where that came from. So check out that real TikTok intro or just go to Target. All right, and now that leaves the stuff that I got for Milo. So I don't think I've actually like formally announced it. Not that it's like super formal and exciting for anybody else, but we're going to Disney World. We're going soon. I am so excited. This is something we've always wanted to do with Milo, obviously, and we're just gonna squeeze it in there before he costs to get in, you know? I've also always wanted to go to the Flower and Garden Festival, and I'm gonna be there for it, and I am I am beside myself excited. I am so excited. We're looking at the weather. It's hard to know until like the week before where you can really take a look at the forecast. We're just kind of paying attention. And right now Orlando is all over the place. Like one day it was 55, the next day it was 80. And so I just want to be as prepared as I can, especially with Milo. Like I hate to feel unprepared when he's like cold or something. Also because the last time we visited in 2019, we went, which has been so long, I'm so excited. We went, I think, so in November and I was unprepared. It was cold. I was unprepared for the cold. So this time I'm just gonna be prepared for anything, um, especially for Milo. Cause I figure even on hotter days, if we're up early in the morning, he'll need layers. If we're out, you know, watching fireworks or whatever, he'll need layers. So I'm just gonna be prepared. So I picked up a couple of t-shirts. Most of the t-shirts at Target for boys are absolutely heinous and awful. And I'm sure a lot of people would even say this one is kind of heinous and awful but I loved it. It's just a snack time club and I love the little snacks holding hands. Like how could you not love that? I love the yellow color of it with the blue writing. This one they didn't have his size so I sized up and I'm like, well, whatever. It'll just be a little bit baggy. But the Cat and Jack t-shirts, if you can find a print you can stomach, are $5 and they're great quality. This was in the girls section, but I don't care. Look at these rainbow strawberries. Are, are you kidding me? They are so cute. Again, $5, but I like this because it would match with a bunch of different stuff. I also just placed an order I needed shorts, so we have no shorts. So just in case it like is all of a sudden 90 degrees, I wanted shorts. <laughs> I can show you those in a vlog when they come in. But this, I was so excited, particularly for Disney World. So it's this like matching set. It's this cute green like waffle knit situation. It's got a little pocket. I don't know what he'll keep in there, but it just has, it's a matching set. And I just picture him walking around Animal Kingdom with that. And I'm just like, wow. It came in a, a bunch of different colors, like and fun colors too, but I thought he would look good in green. And I liked the green, so. Uh, yeah, that's what I picked up for Milo. I think that is it. Let me just check my app. Yeah, it's mostly other just boring stuff. Some batteries, some snacks. So yeah, that is it for my Target faves slash haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below. Oh, we're losing sun. I'll have everything that I can link linked down below. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Yeah, stay tuned for some more videos before our trip and then hopefully a vlog of our trip if I can get it together. Well, I mean, I definitely want a vlog. So yes, a vlog of our trip. And yeah, I'd love to know what you guys want to see. I have a huge ish. I mean, I don't know. I have a beauty haul coming up because I had some gift cards and there's just stuff I've been wanting. So we're gonna do a beauty haul, which if you're still watching, would you prefer a beauty haul, just like sit down chat like this or a try on beauty haul, even if it's not a full face of makeup? Like I bought mostly blush, I won't lie to you, but I did get some like foundations and maybe a bronzer. So I just don't know the best way to do it. So let me know what you prefer. Just so we can chat about it in the comments, um, but I need to do that. I still wanna do my meal prep video where I show you all the things that I prep and freeze. I need to do an empties video, some vlogs. I would just love to know what you want to see with like the spring months coming up. Would just love your input. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.